We're the Master Brothers, and this is the Omi EV Wall Charger. We're going to be breaking it down using our master rating, which is M for money, A for aesthetic, S for sense, T for technology, E for expectations, and R for our final rating. Let's get into it. Now let's get money out of the way. So it cost us £500 for the charger and the installation, including the £350 OLEV grant. And that £500 was for a standard installation, so for any reason if it's more complicated, they may charge you more. Now this is definitely one of the cheaper home chargers, but you can get other similarly priced ones like the Project EV Home Earth, yeah. Project EV Pro Earth, and the Rolex Wallpod EV, EV home, home Smart. I mean, come on, like, what kind, What were they thinking when they gave these names? Like, Who can remember that? It's just stupid. It's just but stupid. the OMI has gone with just the OMI wall charger, so... Smart. At this price point, most of the chargers that you're going to be able to get are semi-smart, so they'll be able to integrate with dual tariffs, and that's when, like, the price changes twice a day. But the OMI charger is smart. So that means it'll integrate with more agile tariffs, so the prices change more frequently, it'll be able to integrate with that, and then it'll know what those prices are to maximize your charging efficiency and cost savings. Yes, yeah, so the agile tariff that we use is Octopus Agile, and the prices change for that every half an hour. So it's really, really variable. And the only other charger that will integrate with Octopus Agile is the Zappi, but that costs 800 pounds, so at this price point, 500 pounds, the Omi charger is really your best option if you want that variable pricing. If you do want to go for a simpler dual tariff, they offer Octopus Go, which will fix your rate at 5p between 12.30am and 4.30am, and then you'll have a higher rate during the day, and that can vary from 12p to 14p, depending on your region. What did you say 14 <laughs> 15, 15, 15p, 15p, 12 to 15p. <laughs> Now, if this sounds interesting to you, check out the link in the description below for £50 off your bill when you switch to Octopus Energy. Noise. Well, I was, I was going to say they also use 100% renewable energy, <laughs> which is an added bonus. Okay. Yeah. So for money, we're both giving it a 10 out of 10. It's a great charger that's packed with features, it's reasonably priced, and I think at this price point, it is the best charger that you can get. Now for the aesthetic, they've managed to keep it super simple and it's not super attractive, but we don't really mind that. Yeah, it's just compact, solid, sturdy. It does what it needs to do really, which is all you can really ask of good design. One thing to note though is that the cable is exposed, so you have to wrap it around this weird little metal thing that just sticks out of your wall. It's a bit fiddly sometimes, but it doesn't take away too much from the overall usage, so yeah, it's not too big of a deal. The only thing that I'd like to change is to make that charger handle black. So overall, for aesthetic, I gave it a 7 out of 10. And I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. Now, does it make sense to go with the Omi charger? I would definitely say so. It's reasonably priced, works well, it's got some cool features like the app, and it can integrate with variable tariffs. So you really can't go wrong with it. Yeah, it doesn't do absolutely everything that you could want, like solar panel integration or load balancing, but most people won't really need these features, so yeah, I think it's I think it's a really sensible choice. So we both gave it a 9 out of 10 for cents. Yep, it's a solid 9 out of 10. Yep. For technology, we're going to be splitting it up into the charger itself and the OMI app. The charger has a 5 meter cable and it'll charge your car at about 7.4 kilowatts, which means it'll add around 25 miles of range every hour, depending on how efficient your car is. It's also rated at IP55, which means it can withstand all weather conditions, so don't really need to worry about putting it in a covered place or anything like that. On the main unit, there's an LCD screen that displays some information on the power being supplied, and below that you have three little indicator lights which will show you the charging status of your car. The unit uses a 4G SIM to connect to your app, which means it doesn't need to use your home Wi-Fi, which is really helpful if your broadband router is really far from the charger. And Omi also provides this at no extra cost, so there's no monthly fee or anything, which is, yeah, really, really helpful. Very good. Yeah, and it connects to any mobile network available in the area, so you shouldn't need to worry about getting signal. Unless you live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Now moving on to the app, the first thing that you'll want to do is to connect your car to it, 
and that's so that Omi knows how much charge your car currently has and what the maximum charge setting is on it so that it can accurately plan when to deliver energy to the car. It was really easy to set this up with the Tesla. All you need to do is just sign into your Tesla account and then it'll know what car you have on your account. So then you just pick that and job's done. Once you've connected your car, go to the dashboard where you'll see your car's battery percentage, range, and charging goals based on your set schedule. From the graph, you can see when power will be delivered to the car based on when the rates are cheapest that night. Below that, you can see some cost information about the charge, the overall greenness of that charge, and the overall impact on the battery that it had. The green score doesn't really indicate much when you have Octopus Energy because Octopus is 100% renewable energy. So the reason why OMI shows something different is because OMI uses the UK forecast of renewable energy production. So it's not really accurate when you consider that, well, you're actually only using renewable energy. So yeah, just ignore that really. Moving to the charge schedule, you can create custom schedules to make sure that your car is the correct range by a certain time. For example, if you commute, you can say on weekdays, I want the car to have 75% battery by 8 a.m. Once you're done setting your schedule, you can click on the settings icon in the top right hand corner and choose whether you want the car to not charge if the price goes above a certain amount. Yeah, and you can select which tariff you're on. So we're on Octopus Agile and we've told Omi that. So that's how the Omi charger knows when exactly to charge the car to get to our desired charge at the cheapest possible rate. Each of your charging sessions are saved in the charge history, so you can keep track of how much energy was delivered and how much that cost you. Yeah, but it doesn't give you any more detail than that, just the overall charge level. In settings, you have a few options for your charging preferences. You can set it to favor green energy, but that setting is pretty useless, like we said before, because Octopus is 100% renewable. You can also choose to optimize charging for battery health and to save money. Yeah, there's a lot of functionality packed into the app, but we have had a few issues where Omi hasn't been able to connect to our car, so it doesn't know what charge level the car is at, and it just starts, or it assumes that the car is at 0%, so yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit annoying. I'd say that happens about once every two or three weeks, maybe. So it's not, it's not perfect, but I mean, considering that it's at this price point, it's the only one that integrates with Octopus Agile, I think it is still a really good, a really good choice to go for. And for that reason, we're both gonna give it a nine out of 10 for technology. Now, in terms of expectations, obviously when we ordered the Tesla, what we were most looking forward to was actually getting our charger installed. As you do. But in all seriousness, I think that Omi has done a really good job in terms of our expectations. Like, it was really easy to set it up with linking it to Octopus Agile and then also linking it to the car. When we, whenever we've had a bit of trouble, Omi support has been really good, um, pretty helpful. So, yeah, I'd say I'd say they've done a really good job. Yep, I think the theme is they've been a solid nine out of ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of it's basically just a nine out of ten. It's yeah. not like the most unreal charger. It doesn't look amazing. It doesn't have any like exceptional features besides the integration with Agile, but yeah. It's just really say. good. It does it does pretty much what you want it to do 90% of the time, yeah. so yeah, it's, it's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, there you go. And that brings us to our final rating. Overall, I gave it a master rating of 43 out of 50. And I gave it a 44 out of 50, giving us a final master rating of 87 out of 100. At this price point, I really don't see why you'd go for any other charger. Like, it's just got all the features you need, it works really well most of the time, and I can't imagine that any of the other chargers have this integration at this price point and will work like perfectly consistently every time. Yeah, it's, it's a solid 9 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 87, you can just round that yeah. probably to 90. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, it's, it's solid. It does the job. It doesn't work perfectly all the time, but at this price point, for what you get, you, you can't go wrong. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out, doesn't cost you anything, and you can always change your mind. Yeah, and if you have an interesting charger or a cool car that we can review around the greater London area, let us know by sending us an email or dropping us a message on Instagram or Twitter. And that's all from the Master Brothers. We'll, we'll catch, catch you on, on the flippity flip. flip. This is the quietest we've ever done.